Question number 16. Um, we've got, well, hope, gladly, it's not a ratio question. We've had quite a lot of tricky ratio questions on this paper. It's clearly a probability question. So we've got different numbers on cards in a bag, and she's going to take one at random, keep it out of the bag, doesn't put it back in, does not replace it, and then it's going to take a second one. And we're asked to calculate the probability that the number on the second card is double the number on the first card. Well, let's think about the different combinations that we can have. So, the first combination is, let's think about if I pulled out a 2 first. Well, the number on the second card could be double. So, probability uh, for that 2 first, that means I've got to have a 4 second. Let's put that out in a second. If I pulled a 3 out first, then the second card has got to be a 6. The only way to get double on the second is double the number of the first card, double the size. If I pulled out a 4 first, then I'd have to have uh, 8 on the second, there aren't any 8s. In the same way, if I pulled out a 6 first, there'd have to be a 12, but that is impossible. So, probably pulling out, well, there's 8 cards, so the probably pulling out 2 is 1 8, multiplied by the probability pulling out a 4, well, there's two 4s. But now, if we take one card out, the two's gone out, there's only seven cards left in there. So it's one eighth times two sevenths, which gives us two over fifty six. Remembering you multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom. Same thing. Probably getting a three is going to be two out of eight. So, different scenario, there's eight back in the bag, two of them are threes, times well, we're probably getting a six. So, there's three sixes available, and now there's only seven cards in there because we pulled a 3 out in the case. Multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, and then because there's two options or more than one option that fits what we're looking for, we're going to add these two, two together and we're going to get um, probably the, the number of the second card is double the number of the first is going to be 8 over 56. Now as it's probably you don't need to simplify it this one you can, and you can just check on your calculator, pop it into a fraction on your side.